I have realized, like some of you probably until now have realized, that the great formula for a great presentation sounds simple. Great presentation equals great content plus great delivery. But I had a little problem with this years back. When I was a young engineer, nearly 20 years ago, I was going for the first course, training course in the company, in the corporate setting, and this course was on presentation skills. The main accent was on how you walk, how you work the room, uh, the, the eye contact with your audience, your movement, body language, and there was a slide or facts that uh, we were made remember, and that, that was this. Uh, that visual part of presentation was uh, accounting for 55% of the total impact or effect or impression you make and your, your voice or sound was something like 38% I'm not sure but anyway that the, the whole most important presentation I got this idea was your movement, your uh, eye contact your posture, your body language, and that what you say or the words are counting for about 7-8%, something like that. And I can tell you, after all these years, being in business world, that now I know and I finally learned that I was fooled. I was fooled to believe that this was the most important. Okay, great delivery and great content go hand in hand, but this is what I strongly believe and this is what I have seen again and again, that if I will tell you what I learned, that if this is my content, it is the cake, I start, I start from there. And my delivery was a cherry on the cake. At least this is like that in the business world. I'm not telling you about your uh, presentation skills on TV, any uh, big stage of a television show or something like that. We are talking about presentation business setting. So your words are important and if you have a good content, this is what I learned and this is what I realized. If you have a good content, strong content and content that you are prepared, that you prepare, that you believe in, that you like, that you are passionate about, everything else will fall into place and it will be much more easy. It will be much easier to deliver it in a good way you do not you will not have to work very hard on other way on the ways on the other part on delivery and the ways how to make people notice and how to make a good impression when i had the content i liked i believed it i believed in i prepared well i really care about and i was very passionate about my delivery was 10 times better and it was much easier to keep the eye contact, to learn when to breathe, how to position my hands. I didn't even have to think about that anymore, that much. We will talk about this, I will select the best tips from you, for you, I will suggest it to you. But this is for sure not something that you need to worry straight away, or take a voice coach, or worry just about your appearance, or about your suit about your slides, about your, the way you breathe, about how, that, how many times you are going to go up and down with your hands and if you have to keep negative, positive body language. So this is why we are starting from planning and creating a good content. I have been at the trade convention, at the conference recently and there was a CEO of technological company who stated that, their company, that his company is successfully working, operating on the market for 20 years. At one point he said something that really st uh, stuck in my mind and it was this. I am uh, not sure uh, what uh, the return on investment uh, for the customers or for you will be. Excuse me, I listened to, I listened to these words and these words were very important for me. Because what I concluded, no, no matter how, smart, how smartly dressed he was or when, how much his body language was positive or trained or something else, I still listened to his words. And I heard this message and this message 
It means his whole communication and his whole presentation was about himself, about his company, and it wasn't about the audience. And this was a very big mistake in my opinion. So don't think that people don't listen to the words you say. I'm not saying that you need to say uh, to not you need to make sure not to make one mistake or to look like a genius or to read your presentation so you will not forget anything any word or uh, that you cannot improve the ways you deliver. I just want to make sure that you don't get fooled the way I did and it took me years to find out that my presentations could have been much better, could have made a big difference, could have made a big impact on my career, on the frequency that I was hired, on the quality, on, on my income and on everything. So don't be a victim of your ego. Understand and realize that it is important that you stop and think and you take the right steps and in the right way. And only then you can be sure that you are on the way to be the best presenter and that you can make an impact.